In this video, we are going to see the difference between Spark Streaming and Spark Structured Streaming. Spark Streaming is a library in Spark ecosystem to process continuous streaming data. It was an alpha release with Spark 0.7.0 based on the idea of discretized streams or dstreams. On the other hand, Spark Structured Streaming is a newer library built on top of Spark SQL. It is also used to process streaming data in the Spark ecosystem. It came into the picture from Spark 2 onwards to fix streaming challenges as a better solution. As of Spark 2.2.0, Spark Structured Streaming is marked stable and ready for production. Thereby Spark Streaming is considered obsolete for developing new streaming applications with Apache Spark. Spark streaming functions on DStream API, which internally uses RDDs. RDDs are low-level structures and hence requires developers' responsibility to write efficient code and make code more optimized. Structured streaming uses data frame and dataset APIs. Data frames or datasets being high-level structures takes advantage of Spark SQL's code and memory optimizations on its own under the hood. Spark Streaming is a micro-batch based whereas Spark Structured Streaming comes with two stream execution engines for executing streaming queries. Micro-batch execution for micro-batch stream processing, continuous execution for continuous stream processing. Spark Streaming guarantees at least once delivery whereas Spark Structured Streaming offers exactly once delivery. Spark Streaming works based on the timestamp when the data is received, not the timestamp when the data was generated. And this used to cause data loss and less accurate results sometimes. This is because the processing order gets changed since sometimes the newer data gets processed before the older data. Now this problem is handled in Spark Structured Streaming because Structured Streaming handles such problems with event time concept. It provides a way of processing data based on event time or the actual time when the data was actually generated. Fall tolerance is provided by both with the help of checkpointing concept, which is used to save the job progress in case there is a need to restart the job after some in between failures. Spark streaming is not quite real-time streaming in practice. It works on batches of received data. Whereas Spark structured streaming is more oriented towards real-time. The received data is appended to a continuously flowing data stream. And each row of the data stream is processed and the result is updated to the unbounded result table. You can use output mode of complete, update or append depending on how you wish to use the results. 